Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at an old Heathkit amplifier. Um, this question is from Paul Krusel, uh, KB9 FMV. And uh, all amplifiers, like this one down here, have um, a switch where it's off or on. Now, if this switch is off, the amplifier is bypassed. Okay, the relays click in there so that the amplifier is bypassed. When you turn it on, the amplifier inserts itself into the circuit. Okay? And all amplifiers these days are like that. Now, the problem that he has is it's just an amplifier. So he's got his HF radio, and he's got an amp, and he's got a tuner. Now, the problem is when he wants to use his radio without the amp, there isn't apparently a bypass I put in. Now here's what a bypass looks like inside an amp. They're all like this. You've got the input to the, the amplifier here, and then the, uh, these are transistors. Um, it's probably a tube amp, so let me draw a tube. You've got tubes in uh, push-pull um, orientation uh, here for your, your output. There's transformer, da-da-da-da-da. Okay. So you've got the input coming in here. Now there's a switch in here, okay, that goes up here and connects to a wire that goes all the way around the amplifier. And it's a switch. And then here's your output, SO239. Okay, and then the switch can come over to here and go into the amplifier. And here it can go into the amplifier. So this is a double pull, double throw switch. When you have it up here in bypass, this is the same switch. It's double pull, double throw. Okay. The same switch. And when you put it in bypass, it's up here and up here. Okay. So it just goes straight through. And then the ground, of course, goes straight through because uh, it's unbalanced. Okay. This goes into the amp. And this is amp. So when you put the thing in bypass, power just goes right around it like the amp was not even there. Okay, if you uh, put it in the amplify position, it uses the amplifier. And that's the amplify. That's really all there is to a bypass switch. A lot of tuners have the same sort of uh, situation because if you've got a well-tuned antenna you may not want your tuner trying again and it's the same thing there's a, a bypass switch that goes to something all the way around it like that and then you've got the other switch that goes into the capacitor that's a variable the uh, inductor which is variable and the capacitor that's variable and goes over to here. And of course, everything is grounded. Um, this is grounded. So your coax comes in here. The outer conductor goes to the ground, of course. This is your coax. And the same over here. So this is how you would bypass a, an antenna tuner. Now, not all of my antenna tuners have a bypass but my, some of them do, so it's very handy to have. Now this again is a double pull, double throw. 
Let's take a look at a double pull, double throw switch. Here's the wire coming in and a wire coming in. Okay, and they have uh, points here and points here. This is double pole um, because there's two sides to it and it's double throw, meaning it has two positions. So the positions can go this way, in which case these are connected to the input or they go this way so that they're connected to this output. Now, can the naming convention extend? Of course it can. You can get, although they're harder to get, oops, these are triple pole double throw. But the point of this is that they all go at the same time. All this goes to this. Now, if you don't, um, if you can control each of these independently, you don't have the three pole double throw, you have a, um, switching network and you can do what you want. Now let's suppose we have a switch like this where this can go to any one of five positions. This is a single pole um, five throw. Okay, so it can be thrown to any one of five positions. If you have one of these like this and these are ganged together, that's usually the symbol used for that, then this would be a double pole five throw. So you, you can go crazy with these things. A lot of the old Super Heterodyne radios have switches like this, and they can have, you know, 10 positions in 12 segments, and they can be a royal pain to clean, uh, but they do work. The net of this is that a simple double pull, double throw switch will do the job. And where do you get such a switch? You can actually get double pull, double throw switches from Home Depot or Lowe's because they are used in three-way lights. Um, no, four-way lights. You can do three-way lights with single pull, um, the single pole double throw, or you can get uh, a four-way light if you throw an additional uh, double pole double throw. So they are available. They're five or six dollars. Um, make sure you don't exceed the uh, ratings on it. Now recognize that it's built for DC or 60 hertz AC and not built for uh, RF, but they will work. Uh, or you can go to an electronic parts supply uh, and get them there. I'm trying to think of the name of a couple electronic parts supplies. And I can't, so I'll leave that part out. So, there you have it. Please subscribe, click like, do all those nice things to feed the algorithm. And until we next meet, 73.